What's up everyone, my name is Jonathan. Today I'm going to show you how to make outlines that look something like this from this guy. And why I'm doing this is because somebody asked how they would do this and I said, well, I can just do it and show you. I feel like that would make the most sense. Uh, so that is what I did and that is what we are going to do right now. I have all obviously already done this quite a bit. I've made uh, some black outlines. Let's see here. So I made these five pixels, 10, 15, and 20. And I will show you the way that I started doing it first and how it just didn't look right, it looked funky. And then I will show you how I ended up doing it and how it made sense, uh, how it looked better. It looked just a little cleaner, it didn't look so muddy. Uh, so first thing you have to do is pretty simple. Just hit W on your keyboard. That brings up this magic wand over here your, in your selection tool, part of your selection tools. Uh, we want the magic wand tool and literally all I did. So make sure you have this layer selected because this is the layer that we're working with. All I did was select it. Like I didn't do anything magical, but the trial and error part that took place after this is where it was not quite as cut and dry. So we have our selection, we have a blank layer. Now we are just going to right click. So what I did first was did a stroke, did black, uh, I think inside is default. And then so we did that, which this looks fine right now. It looks weird because so we have a an outline out here on the edge of the thing. And this isn't gonna be perfect and I understand that what really should be done is this should just be recreated in like illustrator so that way you can use the stroke there and it's scalable and all that stuff but for this person this person said this worked so i was just trying to help out so that's what i did first and so now we'll go back so that looks okay with that stroke but when i did like 20 it just doesn't look, this looks super weird up here. Uh, this just does not look right at all. Uh, this looked super funky. Like you see this weird outline along the top here. It just looks weird. It just doesn't look good. Obviously we still have this border around the edge. So I'm just gonna re undo that. So what I did was I right clicked and then I selected the inverse. So right now we've selected the transparent part of this original document we selected this area right here so we didn't select any of these things so if we go back to here and we just right click and now select inverse so now you have selected all of these areas and not the transparent area and so by doing this this looks a little better a little different a little cleaner uh, it actually looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, all of these little islands up here look way better. I don't think that this is going to scale well. Um, I would probably delete a lot of these weird little pieces up here because I don't think this is going to print well. Everyone's going to see that this is the earth and these are continents if you delete like all these little pieces, all these little pieces. You can probably get rid of this whole island. Yeah, you can keep that one, but get rid of all these little ones. I don't think these are going to print well. So that's what I did. And I literally just uh, made more layers. So that would have been 20. So we're going to go, we're going to actually undo all of that. Go back to here. And then I would just start from here. And then I would go down to here. And then I would do stroke. Do five. Go up to this one, stroke, do 10, go up to, oops, make sure you click on the next layer. So I was just doing this to help him out because I didn't really know how thick of a stroke he, he needed for printing or for whatever he's using this for. So that's that. That's how to make an outline. Again, I know this isn't going to be perfect. In reality, this should just be remade and it'll be way cleaner, way better looking. I would probably use different continents, a different earth, because I don't think that this is going to print well. Uh, it might, but I, I don't think it will. But 
I'd be very curious to see the finished product. So hopefully he remembers me and tags me and something along with that. So if you need work done, feel free to hit me up. I'm always down to help. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.